It's week three, day three, April 11th, 2012, of my 10 weeks of Farrell's Extreme Body Shaping. Uh, today it was again cardio, uh, really strong workout. Um, and again, I I've mentioned that we have these challenges after each class, and then we had the uh, other extra challenge yesterday to uh, do what they call the, the drop sets. And, you know, it's kind of like when you, if you're ever weight, lifted weights, you try to do as much weight as you can for a set, and then if you can't, you drop that down and you know to an easier weight to weight to be able to do your reps in that set, which makes you put that of what are you doing to challenge yourself on a daily basis? Uh, you know, what are you doing that maybe or even what's that next project? Next project that you are thinking you want to do but you haven't started doing. And maybe it's time to do it. I mean, that's one of the ways of bettering yourself and, you know, really picking up that self-esteem and, and motivating yourself is by those challenges that when you complete that, when you finish that, you just feel that more confident about yourself. Again, doing the Farrell's Extreme Body Shaping, it's the same thing. It, it increases that confidence level. I've noticed in meetings that I've had, I've noticed in networking events that I've went to, how in the weirdest ways my confidence has actually improved uh, going to talk to people, which is something I'm not good at. And people that know me know this. And they look at me and go, you're on radio. You've been doing it for 20 years. You go on stage and introduce bands. And what do you mean you can't talk in front of me? I can't. I was not the class clown. I was the guy that sat in the back of the room, didn't want to be noticed, and really, if nobody talked to me, it wasn't a big deal. Now, let me rephrase that. You know, I always had a bad thing of worrying what other people thought about me. Still do. And, um, you know, just when I was heavier, before I lost the weight, you know, especially getting in front of people, I was embarrassed getting in front of people because of how much, how I looked. And I've always been that way. And, but I'm finding, but still not saying I'm the best at getting in front of people. Cause I do, I, I feel really weird about that. And, but then again, I talk to friends and they're looking at me, well, how we don't see you being nervous when you walk out on stage and do that. Or when you get up and MC something, or when, when you're talking in front of people, we don't see it. Well, you know, I guess I've figured out a way to hide it well, but deep inside I'm freaked out. And, um, but I'm finding by doing this, working on myself, I'm increasing my confidence for myself. I'm increasing my confidence of being able to get in front of people, talk to people, introduce myself to people, which I was terrible at doing. And it's the little things that you do that you can start improving yourself that's going to improve other aspects of your life. It's going to improve your relationships. It's going to improve what you do at work. It's going to just improve every, it's going to improve your family life. It's going to do things for you that you probably didn't expect it to do, but that's what it can do. These are the things that when you're working on yourself to improve yourself, to better yourself, this is what you're doing to work on. So you're able to get that done. You're able to do uh, what you need to do to, again, as I've talked about before, when you're trying to work on, when you're working on things, when you're, you know, trying to do better in business, trying to be better with your family, you're going to do more work on yourself than you're going to do on anything else. The work needs to be done on you by improving yourself and all that work physically, mentally, and spiritually, you're going to then improve everything else in your life. So the most work you're ever going to do is going to be on you. And that's even when you're serving people, when you're trying to help others out, you still have to work on yourself so you're able to even help them. And these are just the little things that you can do. And what's that challenge? What are you challenging yourself to do? If you haven't made that challenge, what can you do to make that challenge for that next step in your life? What's that challenge that you can do that you can go forward with? Again, you don't want it to be anything crazy that you, you're pretty much going to set yourself up for failure because then you can do it and say, see, I can't do this. No, it has to be something that it's a little impossible, but not too impossible that you can sit there and then use it against yourself. Again, thank you uh, for uh, going along this journey with me. Hopefully it's helping you as it's helping me. Maybe it's encouraging you as, as myself being encouraged by doing this. Uh, maybe even encouraging you to look into uh, extreme body shaping or, uh, or something that's going to just improve you 
improve your health, improve your physical, uh, improve your men mentality, uh, whatever whatever that is. But again, thank you so much for uh, joining me in this journey. Again, we are in week three, day three, <sighs> seven and a half weeks to go. Will we make it? <laughs> We're going to make it. So again, thank you and have a great day.